Welcome to nonstopneuron.com, where learning medical concepts is as easy as watching cartoons. In this video, we will understand the absolute and relative refractory period, along with various states of ion channel, with a fun analogy of these cute boys. So imagine a group of happy boys living on the North Pole. They love doing meditation. So by default, they meditate. But from time to time, they receive a message from Santa, asking them to carry gift boxes from his collection to kids all around the world. When the kids receive gifts, they get super excited. But after traveling such long distances, the boys get pretty tired. So they take a short rest to recharge their energy level. Once they are refreshed, they return to their default state of meditation. This is their routine. They keep meditating all the time. But every now and then, Santa sends a message. The boys deliver gifts all over the world. Take a quick rest and resume meditation. But here's where things get interesting. Let's say one day the boys have just completed one such delivery and all are taking a rest. Today, Santa was in a hurry. So he sends a repeat message when all the boys are still sleeping. At such a moment, the boys won't respond, simply because they all are sleeping. No matter how hard Santa tries, rushing too early does not serve any purpose. But shortly, some of the boys get ready. And Santa is so impatient that he sends one more message without waiting for the remaining boys to get ready. At this moment, although some boys are ready, they are not enough to carry enough boxes. So a routine message from Santa will not be sufficient. He will have to send a stronger message, so the ones who are awake carry more boxes to ensure every kid gets a gift. In a nutshell, when all the boys are sleeping, Santa's efforts won't make a difference. When only some of the boys are ready, Santa can get the job done, but he needs to send a stronger message than usual. And if Santa waits for all the boys to recover, a normal request will be sufficient. In this analogy, Santa's gift collection represents extracellular fluid. The kids on the Earth is intracellular fluid. And the land in between is the cell membrane. The cute boys are sodium channels. The gift boxes are sodium ions. The messages from Santa are external stimuli. And the excitement of kids on getting gifts is representative of an action potential. The time when all the boys were sleeping was an absolute refractory period. And the period when only some were awake was a relative refractory period. So what happens is, initially the sodium channels are in a meditative state. They are not doing anything, but they are ready to act. When the cell is stimulated, the channels open and allow the transport of ions. This produces an action potential. Right after that, the channels go into sleep mode for a while. During this, no stimulus, regardless of its strength, can generate next action potential. This is an absolute refractory period. Gradually, the channels start transitioning from sleeping mode to a meditative state. Initially, when only some of them have recovered, a normal stimulus is not sufficient. But a stronger stimulation can generate the next action potential. This is a relative refractory period. If enough time is given for all the channels to recover, a regular stimulus can produce action potential, as usual. Speaking in terms of states of sodium channels, they can be in one of three states. The close or resting state resembles meditation. During this, the channel is closed, but can open if stimulated. In an open state, they allow the transport of sodium. An inactivated state is like their sleeping time, during which they are not even ready to open. Actually, these states occur due to different configurations of activation and inactivation gates. I have already discussed them in more detail in a separate video. If you want, you can watch it from this I button or from the link in the description. In summary, by default, the sodium channels are in meditation. A stimulus opens them all and produces an action potential. Right after that, they go into sleeping mode for a while. When all of them are sleeping, 
no strength of stimulus can produce subsequent action potential. This is an absolute refractory period. When only some of them have recovered, the action potential can be generated, but it requires a stronger stimulus. This is a relative refractory period. And finally, when you don't share a video when I ask you to do so, you are also in a refractory period. Come out of the refractory period and share the gift of this video with all your friends.